Welcome to the uCenter 2 video series. In this video, I will show you how to use uCenter 2 to update the firmware on a receiver. At this point, I expect you to have installed uCenter 2, successfully started the application, logged in, connected to a device, and have a suitable firmware image file available. For this demonstration, I have connected a Neo F10T module. Looking at the device info panel, we can see that the firmware is currently running the ROM image. This is because I have previously erased the flash image. Begin by launching the firmware update dialog. This can be found in the tools and services panel. In this dialog, we can see information about the currently connected receiver and the various updating options. We can see this is a generation 10 device and the version of the firmware currently running. Start by selecting the firmware image to use. Then select the board rate the update should take place at. I will select the fastest. I will leave Erase Flash unchecked as we are flashing the image. Safe Boot and Training Sequence can remain unchecked as we do not need to tell the firmware update process to do anything special. Transfer Image to RAM and Use Chip Erase are again not needed for this demonstration. uCenter 2 uses the uBlox Firmware Update utility to perform the firmware update process. You can see the command line used to launch the firmware update utility here. If you look carefully, you can see how the command line options reflect the choices made in the UI. The additional options field allows you to enter command line options that are not supported in the UI. Anything you type here will appear on the command line. Start the firmware update process by selecting the update button. Note, this is only enabled when a firmware file has been selected the board rate is set and a device is connected. Progress is shown with the arrays and writing progress bars. In addition, the log sh shows when flash memory blocks are erased and written. This is useful if the update process blocks or fails for some reason. You can see the last actions of the update utility. Now the update has completed successfully. The firmware version has changed and is now located in the flash. We can see the output in the console view. Lastly, there is a stop button. If the update process blocks for any reason, pressing stop will terminate the process. Thanks for watching.